India Physiographic Divisions Introduction India is a vast country it is the seventh largest country in area and second most populous country in the world there is a great variety in the climate vegetation wildlife as well as in the language and culture India is one of the most important countries in the continent of Asia it is a country of vast geographical expanses it is bounded by the great himalayas in the north the arabian sea in the west the bay of bengal in the east and the indian ocean in the south it is great in many respects in its glorious past in its multiple culture and languages in its various religions and secular nature of governance and in its vast range of landforms and natural resources india has a vast diversity of landforms in the form of lofty himalayan mountains vast northern plains the great indian desert the uneven plateau surface and the coasts and islands almost every type of climate vegetation and wildlife found in the world is found in india we also find great diversity in culture in which we find unity that is reflected in traditions that bind us as one nation india is the second most populated country after china in the world area with a total area of about 3.28 million square kilometers india accounts for nearly 2% of the total area of the world and is the most densely populated nation of the world location and extent india has an area of about 3.28 million square kilometers the north south extent from kashmir to kanyakumari is about 3200 kilometers and the east west extent from arunachal pradesh to kutch is about 2900 kilometers the tropic of cancer passes almost halfway through the country the latitudinal extent of india is 8 degree 4 minutes north and 37 degree 6 minutes south from west to east india extends between 68 degree 7 minutes east and 97 degree 25 minute west longitudes the southern part of our country is a peninsula it is surrounded by water bodies on three sides the arabian sea is along the west coast the bay of bengal is along the east coast and the indian ocean washes the southern tip of india due to big longitudinal extent of about 29 degree there could be wide differences in local time of places located at two extreme points of india the local time changes by 4 minutes for every 1 degree of longitude the sun rises 2 hours earlier in arunachal pradesh than in gujarat as such the difference between these points would be of 2 hours the local time of longitude of 82 degree 30 minute east has been taken as the indian standard time This meridian or longitude is also termed as the standard meridian of India. Boundaries. India has common land boundaries with seven countries: Pakistan, Afghanistan, China, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, and Myanmar. Sri Lanka is separated from India by a narrow stretch of water. Park Strait is located towards the south in the Indian Ocean. The east-west extent of India is about 30 degree of longitudes therefore the sun rises or sets almost 2 hours earlier at the easternmost part of india than the westernmost part to avoid the confusion with respect to time at different places in india the longitude of 82 and a half degree east has been selected as the standard meridian for the whole of india administrative division the republic of india is the union of states and divided into 29 states and 7 union territories including the national capital territory nct of delhi these are the administrative units in our country three new states uttaranchal jharkhand and chhattisgarh have been carved out of uttar pradesh bihar and madhya pradesh respectively now uttaranchal is named as uttarakhand indian neighbors There are seven countries that share land boundaries with India. China and Nepal are in the north. Bhutan, Bangladesh and Myanmar are in the east. Pakistan and Afghanistan in the northwest. 
the islands of Sri Lanka and Maldives are our neighbours in the south. Sri Lanka is separated from India by the Park Strait, political and administrative division. India is a vast country. For administrative purposes, the country is divided into 29 states and 7 union territories. Delhi is the national capital, Rajasthan is the largest state and Goa is the smallest in terms of area. Uttarakhand, Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh are the newly formed states of India. The states have been formed mainly on the basis of language. Uttar Pradesh is the most popular state of India. The states have been divided into districts. Physical Divisions India is divided into six physical features. The Northern Mountains, the Northern Plains, the Great Indian Desert, the Peninsular Plateau, the Coastal Plains, the Islands. The Northern Mountains High mountain ranges run along the entire northern boundary of India. The northernmost range is the Karakoram. The second highest peak in the world, Mount Ketu or Mount Godwin Austin, lies in these mountains. It is the highest peak in India. On the south of the Karakoram range lies the mighty Himalayas. Himalaya means the abode of snow. The Himalayan range runs from the Indus Valley in the west to the Brahmaputra in the east. The Himalayas consist of three parallel ranges with deep narrow valleys between them. From north to south, these ranges are the Great Himalayas, Himadri, the Lesser Himalayas, Himanchal and the Outer Himalayas, Shivaliks. The Himalayas have some of the highest peaks in the world. Mount Everest, 8,848 meters, the world's highest peak lies in Nepal. Mount Kanchanjunga, 8,598 meters, Nanga Parbat, 8,126 meters, Nanda Devi, 7,817 meters, and Badrinath, 7,138 meters, are located in India. The most important rivers that flow from the Himalayas are the Indus, the Ganga and the Brahmaputra. The northern mountain region is thinly populated. The northern plains The northern plains are very fertile lands. These plains have been formed by the alluvial deposits of the Indus, the Ganga, the Brahmaputra and their tributaries. The northern Indian plains lie to the south of the Himalayas. They are generally level and flat. The northern plains are among the largest plains in the world and are also called the Indo-Gangetic Plain. These plains are very fertile due to alluvium deposits. These plains provide fertile land for cultivation. Due to this, a high concentration of population is found in these plains. These plains comprise three distinct parts. The Punjab-Haryana Plain, the Ganga Plain, the Brahmaputra Plain. The Punjab-Haryana Plain, Satluj Plain. In India, the plain of Punjab and Haryana is drained mainly by the Satluj, the Ravi and the Bias, Vyas, which are the tributaries of River Indus. This plain is the part of the Indus Basin and the major part of the plain lies in Pakistan. The Ganga Plain The most extensive part of the northern plains is formed by the Ganga and its tributaries. The important tributaries of the Ganga include the Yamuna, the Ghagra, the Gandak and the Kosi and the Son River. The Brahmaputra Plain The Brahmaputra Plain has been formed by the Brahmaputra and its tributaries. The Brahmaputra originates in Tibet where it is called the Sangpo. The tributaries deposit the alluvium brought down by the rivers creating a triangular area of land. Such a triangular area of land at a river's mouth is called a delta. The Great Indian Desert The Thar Desert, also known as the Great Indian Desert, is sandy and dry. Sand dunes are found in desert which are like the hills of sand. They keep changing their shape on account of the action of winds. Due to lack of water and dry sands, very little vegetation is found in the Indian Desert. There are few towns in the desert because of less water. The Indira Gandhi Canal carries water from the river Satluj to the northern part of the desert which helps a lot in converting that part 
into a green area the peninsular plateau the peninsular plateau lies to the south of the northern plains the peninsular plateau has two distinct parts the malwa plateau and the deccan plateau the malwa plateau the northern part of the peninsular plateau bounded by the aravalli range in the west and the vindhya and satpura ranges in the south is called the malwa plateau the deccan plateau the deccan plateau lies to the south of the vindhya and satpura ranges the deccan plateau is bounded by hills on the west and east the western hills are collectively called the western ghats or the sahyadris the western ghats include the satmala the nilgiris the annamalai and the kadumam hills the eastern hills lying along the eastern coastal plains from north to south are collectively called the eastern ghats the longest east flowing river godavari is known as the ganga of the south or dakshin ganga the other major rivers flowing into the bay of bengal are the mahanadi the krishna and the kaveri the coastal plains the coastal plains are divided into two parts western coastal plain eastern coastal plain western coastal plain the western coastal plain is a thin strip of coastal plain that lies between the arabian sea and the western ghats only rivers like the narmada and the tapi flow through the western coastal plain and make estuaries the northern part of the plain is known as the konkan coast and the southern part is known as the malabar coast in the malabar coast the coastline is broken and indented which has given rise to many lagoons and natural harbors the region is extremely beautiful the coconut trees along the lagoons and the backwaters provide a picturesque scenery eastern coastal plain this plain lies between the eastern ghats and the bay of bengal this is broader as compared to the western coastal plain numerous rivers like the mahanadi the godavari the krishna and the kaveri etc make deltas on the eastern coastal plain and drain their water into the bay of bengal the southern part of plain is known as the koromandal coast and the northern part is known as the northern sirkars the islands there are two island groups found in india the andaman and nicobar islands in the bay of bengal and the lakshadweep islands in the arabian sea these are the coral origin located off the coast of kerala the andaman and nicobar islands are separated by a wide channel called the 10 degree channel all the physical divisions of india though different in structure still form a single geographical unit as they are interdependent the northern plains are rich in agriculture and provides food for the population while the peninsula plateau is rich in minerals and provide industrial raw material the mountains ensure the perennial flow of water to the country and help in agriculture there is a great deal of interaction between the different regions of india which promotes cultural unity